So you know how I always say that my last video of the month is always my favorite because it's when I talk about new books that have been released and I always like pop up a picture of them. Well, I have an even better video today. I'm so excited because I got some book mail and I'm gonna show you all the books that I got. Some of them may have already been released. Some of them might be advanced copies. I'm not really sure. I haven't actually even opened the package yet. So I don't even know what's in there. So I'm gonna open it with you guys and see what books are in there. And so let's get to it. Uh, I probably should have brought scissors or something. But there we go. Now I feel like I need to come up with a name for this segment, like read aloud mail. I don't, I don't love that. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. What can we call this segment? Because I'm hoping to get more books, so we'll see. Okay, let's jump. Ooh, I'm so excited about this one. Okay, so this one, Aloha Everything by Kaylin Malia George. I've been hearing about this one. I'm so excited. It's about Hawaii and I think it's written by a girl that lives in Hawaii and um, exploring her culture and everything that's there on the islands. Um, and like, look at how beautiful this cover is. So I'm guessing all of the images. Um, May Wait is the illustrator, but like, look at those pictures. Oh my God, the illustrations are beautiful. I'm so excited to read this one. Um, it says, discover this magical story that will take you on a thrilling journey through the breathtaking islands of Hawaii. Okay, really excited about this one. Let's see what else we got. Um, next, a Ramadan to remember. This one's by Marzea Ali. And it says, Ramadan is almost here. It's Zane's favorite time of the year. Well, it usually is. After a recent move, will Zane find a new Muslim friend to celebrate with him? Learn about holidays and festivals around the world. Oh, this is a whole series. So it looks like there might be more books in this series. We'll have to check those out. Uh, but this looks like a great one to read for Ramadan. Next, Old Clothes for Dinner. This one's by Nathalie Alon Alonzo. When Abuela cooks a dish called Ropa Vieja, Magali scrambles to hide her old clothes before they end up on her dinner plate. Well, that sounds interesting. Now, I have to say I'm a really picky eater, but I love to read books about food. Like there's so many books out there about um, it's usually grandparents cooking with their grandchildren. And I feel like there's so many sensory details in those books. So there's some of my favorite books, which like I said is weird because I'm kind of a picky eater. Um, but this one looks really neat. I feel like when you read these books, you can almost smell the food coming off the page and that you feel like you're in the kitchen with them when they're cooking. And there's so much passion in behind it. So I always think those books are really neat. Okay, let's see. Next we have Marley's Pride. This would be perfect for June coming up or any month of the year, really. This one's by Joelle Rettner. It's Pride. Marley longs to celebrate, but big crowds and loud noises make them anxious. Can they find a way to join the parade? And it also says that it includes end notes about pronouns, protests, LGBTQIA plus resources, and more. So this looks like a great resource for your classroom. Not only a good story to read aloud with your students, but it has some of that information as well in the back of the book. And such bright colors. Another great read aloud. Okay, and our last one in this package, The Girl Who Planted Trees by Carol Hart. And, oh, it says with, um, there's a free read aloud audiobook. I know sometimes our voices get tired when we're reading aloud in the classroom. So having that audiobook option available, there's a QR code on the back to scan. The girl thought to herself, if only we could bring back bring our mountain forest back. But what could she do? She was just one small girl. This looks like a really good one for Earth Day. I haven't read it, but that's what I'm guessing. It's about planting trees, so this would be perfect in April or again, like I say, any time of the year. Um, but this one has some beautiful illustrations in it as well. Um, see that I don't know if, you can, if they're showing up on camera at all. But those look pretty neat. So, like I said, those were some great books. I believe they were sent to me by the publisher. Um, I'm not really sure. There's not a no in it. 
but those are sent to me by the publisher and I was so excited to share them with you. I'm hoping that I can do more of these videos and share these new books with you so that you have ideas of books that you can use in your classroom as read alouds. Like I said, calling it read aloud mail for now. If you have a better idea, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Also, let me know which one of these you are excited to read first. I told you that I was really excited to read Aloha Everything first because it has to do with Hawaii. I just got back from Hawaii a few months ago and such an amazing place to go to if you've ever been or wish to go someday. But lots of diverse books in this package and I was really excited to share them with you. If you want to use any of these books in your classroom, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you like it so that way other people can see this video, other teachers or even parents can get ideas of books they can read aloud to their children. It really like kind of helps move the video along and lets other people see it too. So make sure you do that. Make sure you follow this channel because I'm hoping to be back with more read aloud pictures to share with you. If not, I have videos that come out every Monday and I share read aloud tips, book ideas that you can use in your classroom. They're usually a theme to them like Earth Day video, books all about Earth Day, or something like that. So if this video was helpful for you, like I said, give it a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below because I'll be back next week with more read alouds and book ideas for you to use in your classroom right away. Have a great week and thanks for joining me on this brand new video. So excited to share it with you.